You know, I feel like there's nothing in the world that's going to bring nothing back that I have. People who lost everything in an apartment fire in Yuba City are trying to figure out their next steps as they cope with a major loss. But it turns out it may be harder for them to rebound. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live for us in Yuba City tonight with why the campfire, Ryan, may be to blame here. Yeah, that's right. A Yuba City real estate agent tells me that the people who lived here that were hit by this fire have a couple of options. One of them could be looking outside the Yuba City area for similar rates that they were paying here, or they could become homeowners to get into a new home after something like this happened. But scarcity in money can be hurdles in this post campfire world. I just seen the flames coming in, just seen it coming in in the window. The Yuba City Fire Department says of the 80 people displaced by this apartment fire on Monday afternoon, nearly half of them will be without a home. Fire Chief Jesse Alexander says the cause of the fire is still being investigated, and it will be months before people who lost everything will have the chance to set foot back inside their homes. The Red Cross is helping out those impacted by the fire by setting up a shelter at the Yuba Sutter Fairgrounds on a case by case basis. I try to stay strong for them. There's times where I break down, but where they can't see me. Victims like Maria Torres say they're unsure of what to do next. This is my first time ever going through something like this, and I have no idea where, where to go from here. Housing in Yuba City is still scarce as a result of the campfire, and real estate experts say rent has skyrocketed. CBS 13 is getting answers on the options these victims now have when it comes to housing in a post campfire world. Real estate expert Steve McCarthy says people may have to go outside the area to find something similar to what they were paying, or these renters may want to look into buying a home. In this situation, they need everything. They need to keep as much money in their pocket as they can, so there is some down payment assistance programs and things available to them. Torres tells me she's working with the apartment's management to see if her family can be relocated to a different property they own. I'm thinking of taking it. I want to for the kids. The memories they had in the complex may have gone up in flames, but there's one thing Torres wants more than anything. I want them to go to school stable and okay. <laughs> That's what I want. The real estate agent that I spoke with says that there are credit repair groups here in the area that could help out those people who are looking to buy a home if they can't find a similar rental.